Hey David, what do you got? Well, we've done some uh, remodeling here. We we did a little preview post of the production floor where we've been grinding down concrete. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in a few. But we've done some remodeling here at Megatech in the automated assembly area. So the first thing we did was we knocked a hole in the back wall, uh, partly to improve the flow through here and also because we have a new machine, a uh, new pick and place machine that we wanted to put in line uh, to improve our, our throughput, to bring us new capabilities with the 0201 and 01005 machine placement. So we'll go back here and take a look at the new machine. So this is the Juki KE1080E, as you can see. Uh, we just got it installed and up and running here within the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've, we've reconfigured it a little bit, so we've got our two Phillips machines that we can run a, a continuous board all the way through if, if the board is large enough and we need to set up both machines right into the reflow on them. So as you can see, we've got the, the Juki placing parts here on one board for us. What is the video screen on top looking at? That scans the parts. So what is it actually? It depends on the part, the, the size, the leads. Well, when it picks it up, it scans it to make sure it's the proper number of leads, the right size. So it's doing a little QC on the on the part. Yeah. And that keeps a permanent record, so you can keep that with your. Your part, your part trunk, in case there's a problem later. Yep. So let's take a look around back. That's pretty fast and quiet. Yep. So it'll it'll pick up the parts over there. Come over here. It's changing nozzles. Got all the different nozzles that it needs here on this side. The, the nozzles stay there and it just exchanges them out when it needs a new one. Uh, and then it goes over, picks up the parts, throws them on the board, and, and goes on to the next one. Okay, so we got some changes here. Yeah, so we've uh, part of our remodel was out here on our main production area where we've uh, we used to have a blue anti-static paint on the floor that we came through with a concrete polisher and just ground it all off uh, and put it down to the bare concrete and then this is actually polished down. And what we've actually found is when we test this with our uh, measuring the static on it and whatnot, this is actually very good for, for the anti-static environment. So part of the other stuff we did here is we took a couple walls out um, and just opened it up so we can set up some longer production lines, uh, improve the workflow through here, and help us out with some of the larger quantity runs we've got coming through the, the bigger volumes. Great. Thank you.